Hello, I'm Mark Price. I'd like to talk to you today about the vine and the branches. But first, I'm going to talk to you about an apple. Show and tell today. I brought an apple. This is a real apple, a little bitty one, but a real apple. And I have a question for you. If I were to ask you how many seeds are in this apple, you could easily cut it open and count the seeds. Am I right? But if I were to ask you how many apples are in each one of those seeds, you'd have to scratch your head. You see, man, the world, can count and tell us how many seeds are in an apple, but only God can tell us how many apples are in the seed. Amen? The reading today, the gospel, is from John chapter 15, verses 1 through 8. Jesus said to his disciples, I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine grower. He takes away every branch in me that does not bear fruit, and every one that does he prunes so that it bears more fruit. You are already pruned because of the word that I spoke to you. Remain in me as I remain in you. Just as a branch cannot bear fruit on its own unless it remains on the vine, so neither can you unless you remain in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever remains in me and I in him will bear much fruit, because without me you can do nothing. Anyone who does not remain in me will be thrown out like a branch and wither. People will gather them and throw them into a fire and they will be burned. If you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask for whatever you want and it will be done for you. By this, my Father is glorified, that you bear much fruit and become my disciples. The Gospel of the Lord. So, very famous reading, the vine and the branches. Jesus is the vine, we are the branches. And it's saying to us that as long as we remain in Jesus, as long as we remain focused in Jesus for throughout our lives, we will bear fruit. One Verse one line from this has troubled people for many years, and it is, he takes away every branch in me that does not bear fruit. He takes away every branch that does not bear fruit. It, the verse, uh, the uh, gospel says, he takes away all the dead. He prunes, he takes away all the dead. And all the, um, the good vines, he prunes to make them stronger, just as we do with our our uh, vines at home, our plants are at home when we garden, we, we prune. I know I had roses for much of my life and I like roses and every January we, I'd prune back the, the, good, the good branches on the rose bush and then they'd come back in the spring with, with many more flowers usually than the year before. Pruning is part of the growth process of the tree. But this line that says, he takes away every branch in me bear fruit. So it's a healthy branch, except that it's not bearing fruit. So what's that saying? It's saying that there are people who are perhaps followers of, of Jesus, who believe in Jesus, who have faith, but they're not doing anything with the faith. In years past, for the last many centuries, uh, philosophers and, and theologians have taken that line to mean he takes them away. In other words, they're they're not bearing fruit, so they're, they're discarded, they're taken away. But if you really take time to study that line, it's a very, very important line. The word for take away that is used, if you look to the original Greek, is iro, which does not mean to get rid of. It means to lift up. If you look at any, any wine, uh, or excuse me, grape vines, Every now and again, because of weather or whatever, the, the vine will drop and it'll be down on the ground. What does the grower do? He looks at it and he says, okay, well, this is a good branch, but it's not bearing fruit because it has, it has to be lifted up. It has to be raised up to be on the, on the uh, supporting mechanism so that it is up and it will bear fruit when it is up because it's good. It just was on the ground. Now this is important, and if you look at the vine, the vines on a on a the supporting mechanism that they have for vines, 
they are all intertwined. It's almost as if they are helping each other to hold each other up. And as people of faith, that's what we're called to do. We're called to be there for each other, to hold each other up, to, to be support mechanisms for one another. We see that in the vines as they grow, and we see that in what we're called to be as followers of Christ, as people of faith. Now, pruning. Pruning, how does God prune us today? The way he's always pruned us. When we're dealing with tough times, he gives us the strength to deal with it. We're dealing with a pandemic. I believe with all my heart, as a person of faith, that we're going to come out of this thing stronger than we ever were before. We will have learned things. We will have grown. Hopefully we will have grown closer to each other and to God. But we will come out of this thing stronger than before because this is a time of pruning. Every time we're dealing with problems, disasters, elements in our life that are difficult, that's that time of pruning to make us stronger, to come out better on the other end. As a parent, when I was raising my daughter, uh, I knew that there was going to be a time when she would leave, she'd be on her own. So I tried to, to prune her, to give her the tools that she was needing when there were, there were problems growing up. I tried to give her the strength she needed. I tried to share with her my faith, hoping against hope that maybe when she was dealing with tough times in her life, as she was on her own, that she would fall back to those foundations that I laid uh, into her life. Those are things that God does for us. Those are things that we do as parents. We, we lay the groundwork, the foundation, and when they are down, on the ground because of whatever the world did to them, we raise them up, Iro. We raise them up and give them the encouragement that they need. If you look at scripture, Jesus was always raising people up. He was always encouraging them. Blessed are they who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. He is always encouraging, lifting up. And that's what the verse is saying to us today that God prunes the, the branches and the vines that are producing the fruit, and those that are good but are not producing, he raises them up and gives them the encouragement they need to produce. And what does it mean to produce in the reading today and in faith? It means to get to a point where we're sharing who we are, our faith, with others, and then they share their faiths with others. It's creating people of faith. That's what the producing means. We see in the scriptures that our God is a God who is above all things, created everything. And he's above time and he's above space. You see, it's God and only God who can tell us how many apples are in a seed. Who do we want to put our faith in? Who do we want to follow? Who do we want encouraging us? Man, who can only count how many seeds in an apple? or God who sees everything and can tell us how many apples in every seed. This is Mark Price. Thanks for listening.